In the winter of 2004, 23 people froze to death in Gallup. The new mayor, Bob Roseborough, appointed a Blue Ribbon Commission to study how the city could address and prevent this tragic loss of life. The Blue Ribbon Commission became CARE 66. My name is Sanjay Chowdhury. I am the executive director of CARE 66. I want to tell you the story of how we got started. We purchased the Lexington Hotel in 2009 uh, with the idea that we could provide a very creative mix of affordable housing, permanent housing, uh, and transitional housing for men and women who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. The Lexington Hotel was a decrepit hotel built in 1931. We rebuilt it from the inside out to provide a safe and secure place for people to get their lives back together so that they could get their feet on the ground again. This is where we help people become self-sufficient, independent, and self-sustaining for their own lives. My name is Maxine. I'm Navajo. I am um, from Tohatchi, New Mexico, and I'm currently living here in Gallup. Being at CARE 66 is like being at home. I never really had a home, but I would say this is a home for me, a beginning for me. I became homeless because I had nobody to talk to. I didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't know where I stood. There was nowhere to go. I guess my life pretty much just flashed right before me. I didn't like, I didn't like my life. I was a wanderer. I was a person that was very confused. Just totally giving my life to alcohol. I happened to be walking down the road and this vehicle pulled up beside me and it was one of my friends. I was telling him that, you know, I'm really tired of where I'm at, what I'm doing. Is there something that could be better than this life? And he's like, you know, Maxine goes, yeah, we'll be there for you. It's a long journey for me. I could relapse today, I could relapse tomorrow. But one of my goals was that I was to go back to school and make myself a better person than what I was before. I received a letter of acceptance from the University of New Mexico to start school. My kids would tell me, Mom, you know, you can do it if you put your mind to it. You put your heart to it, you know. I passed my classes my spring semester and I got all A's and I was really shocked. And I was like, I actually didn't, you know. So I said, you know, I'm gonna make myself, I'm gonna be a nurse. This is what I'm gonna do. And I went before the state and I got my um, certification as a CNA. full-time student. I'm at the computer or I'm doing my homework and then I look at the time and I say, okay, I either got to go to work or I got to go to class. That's all I do. It's everyday life for me. I want to make myself better. I want to be better than what I was like before. And that's my goals. My mom had called me and she had said that I had um, some mail. Oh. I opened it and here it was a letter from the dean telling me that I had made the dean's last first spring semester. I had a GPA of a 3.89. Without CARE 66, 
I wouldn't know where I would be. They're willing to guide you. They're willing to get you back on your feet. They're willing to help you look for a job. The important thing to remember is that nobody is too hopeless. Nobody is too far gone. Nobody is beyond help. They might be beyond what we know how to do, but they are not beyond help. The last place that people experience before they become homeless is a place of crisis and tragedy. I too have experienced homelessness. I have been homeless myself. And it was not a great experience, it was a traumatic experience, and it's an experience that I would not wish on anybody. Gallup is the county seat for McKinley County, which is one of the poorest counties in the United States. And uh, we have a huge shortage of affordable housing in the city. Despite these challenges, despite the lack of resources, we have responded to this cause of homelessness. We see it as an opportunity for growth for the entire community. We see addressing homelessness and providing services to people as one of the best ways to promote economic development in our society, in our part of the country. And we do this by developing affordable housing, such as the Lexington Hotel, by providing support services so that people can get into a home and keep it. Welcome to uh, Chuska Apartments. This was Care 66's first project. We provide housing for low-income families and transitional housing for homeless families over here. All of the units are green with passive solar features and this uh, complex won an award in 2008. My name is Lavina Ortiz. I am 36 years old. I have four children and I live at De Chuska's Apartments. CARE 66 has provided my family with a safe home. We really appreciate all the services that they have provided for us. Most importantly, my children and I have prioritized our education and CARE 66 has provided tutoring services for us. And I just wanted to say thank you to them for that. We want to do a lot more of this. We want to do this on a scale that has an impact on this community. We want to do this in different parts of this county, in different chapters, on the reservation, off the reservation. We want to take this model of supportive services, of service-enriched housing, so that people have the chance to succeed. We want to give people that chance, and we want to make it happen for them. It's possible for us to have a society where people do not have to be homeless. And we can do it if we do it together, and we can do it uh, if we decide that this is something that is no longer acceptable in our life. It is possible to fix this problem. <laughs>